I promise there's not going to be any more four guys. I know. I know. I'm a very biased commentator. Um, this car is one that I love and I've seen for many a year. This is a Coyote swapped, you know, 64, 65 Mustang. The biggest thing here, though, is the suspension and brakes. This was a Willwood car. Uh, so they has Willwood's Masters and their massive, massive disc brakes. Anybody who knows these Mustangs know you might have had disc brakes in the front, but you certainly didn't have them in the back. And now Willwood actually put this car together with all of their braking components. One thing that really excites me too is this is looking like it has a fabricated custom K member in the front and it has a steering rack conversion. Uh, and the other thing that you can see immediately out on that wheel, if you look at that, uh, where that center cap should be, this has a big strange nine inch. Uh, if I remember on the build on sheets on this, it has gun drilled, big gears, all the things you need to get this thing down the track fast. And what's real cool here, and you don't see a lot of people do, underneath it has a torque arm link setup. So you don't see a lot of people run a torque arm anymore. It's something that was on F body Camaros for a long time and Trans Ams. Um, but this setup really is a really good option to keep your axle from doing a dancey dance, keeping your pinion angle under control and being able to dial in anti-squat geometry into the rear. This is a, this is a uh, pro touring car. It's, I think I've seen it at the Optima Ultimate Streetcar Challenge before. So this car hooks and boogies.